check everything I ask, Captain. Radar, sonar, aerial patrols all report no other vehicles have left this island since last night. That includes submarines. What about fishing boats leaving the mainland? The boats go out every morning at dawn. Yeah, I saw them. How many of them are there? Almost 100. They're spread out over a 60-kilometer radius by now. Yes, and that radius is expanding every minute. I don't even know which boat we're looking for. Rumor has it that Sergio Vincenero, who was responsible for smuggling the Nazis' gold to South America at the end of the war, he died five years ago, having built Vinciguerra into one of the biggest shipping companies in the world. Submarine surfaces at 0800 hours. Gives us 20 minutes, gentlemen. Dear Dama, that's Sergio Vinciguerra's old fishing boat. I suggest we start there. Can you get them on the radio? Now, you can get a bearing from the radio signal, yes? If we keep them broadcasting for long enough. I have an idea which might make things quicker. Diadema, mi dicevi diadema, qui è il comandante del porto. Diadema, mi dicevi diadema, qui è il comandante del porto. Diadema, mi dicevi diadema. Diadema, ripeto. Comandante, qui il diadema. Sì, diadema, ho un messaggio per la signora Vinciguerra. Capitano, non so di che cosa state parlando. Ten minutes and counting. Mr. Solo, this is your cue. Thank you. Dear Dama, this is Napoleon Solo. Hello, Victoria. I suspect that you're already listening, so I'll give you this message directly. Earlier today, I killed your husband. We're wasting our time. This isn't working. We need an option. If you could just little... shut up. Thank you very much, Captain. Ramp it up, please, sir. Come on. I'd like to report that he died honorably, courageously, and selflessly. But he didn't. Instead, it was a rather pitiful affair involving tears, begging, and office to trade anything, and indeed anyone, so that I would spare his life. Napoleon. I appreciate your message, and now I hope you appreciate mine. Any blood relation of yours still living will be dead within a year. It will die slowly and painfully. And you know from personal experience, this is an area in which we excel. We're on 045, Captain. There's nothing you'll be able to do but witness their suffering as you await your own death, which I will save for last. This I vow on my husband's soul. It's all yours, Captain. Thank you. Won't you have to inform your organization to achieve that? After we deliver the warhead, you so desperately thought it would be the first item on my agenda. And you will die, Solo, knowing you failed completely. We have the Professor's disc. We can build as many bombs as we need. Ready? Yes. Proceed, please, Captain. I see one flaw in that plan. Entertain me. While you've been telling me how dangerous you are, we've been locking onto your radio signal. Now, you can get a bearing from the radio signal, yeah? If we keep them broadcasting for long enough. There are 045, Captain. It's all yours, Captain. Thank you. Now we have your general location. It won't help you much. We'll be gone in five minutes. I haven't finished. The coupling device that you so considerately left us on your decoy warhead is accurate to 10 feet. I have an idea which might make things quicker. Well, it's known as a coupler. It sends a signal which enables another missile to lock onto this one for double the impact. The coupling device is now activated. And the bomb is armed. That warhead, although not nuclear, shouldn't have any trouble obliterating a medium-sized fishing boat. The aforementioned warhead launched... Ready? Yes. Proceed. Please, Captain. 45 seconds ago. <laughs> giving you about 30 seconds until impact. It won't trigger the nuclear warhead, as that requires fishing. So, if you do want to make good on your vow, I suggest you abandon ship immediately. How's that for entertainment? Very good. Well done, sir, though.